all right guys so let's dive right into the demonstration for the purpose of this tutorials i'm going to use two different laptops for this okay and the first laptop here is running vmix and then the second laptop here i've opened the canva web application on it and i'm going to show you guys how you can connect it into the vmix software okay so the first thing i want to show you guys is that this uh, canva uh, presentation that i want to present it into the vmix software and i want to get the output of the presentation into the vmix software okay so the first thing i want to show you guys is i just go is i'm going to go to share and then i'm going to click more here click more here and i'm going to present okay i'm going to present it full screen and i'm going to go for present okay good so we can see that from the canva laptop from the laptop that is running the canva the presentation is on the full screen and then when you come to the business application too we can see that the presentation is here so let me change it for you guys to see how it's working here you can see that it have changed let me zoom in for the two computers you can see that i've changed you can see they are getting the presentation live into the vme software here okay go to the next slide here okay go to the next slide here okay everything is working nicely here you can see it's updating live okay from canva to vmix updating life here all right okay this let me present this flyer here so let me present this flyer here into the application and let's see all right so this is the flyer i want to show into the vme software you can see that i've been captured here all right nicely captured here okay you can see that it's showing nicely into the vme application as you guys can see here and then when i go to the video from the canva application let me present the video as well let me present the video here it has been captured into the vme software and if the network is good it will have been played okay okay guys so this is what i want to show you guys today how to do and by the end of the tutorials you will be able to connect the output of your canva workflow into the vme software okay so let's dive right into the tutorials and i will show you everything how to do that but if you are new to this channel just make sure that you subscribe to my channel the guitar connect that is the only way you can support the channel and if you are a returning subscriber thank you for coming back and make sure that you like and comment below my videos and then let me know guys how you think I'm all right guys let's dive right into the tutorials for the purpose of these tutorials I'm going to use two different computers for it okay so at the first computer over here you can you guys can see that I've installed Vimeo software on it all right so make sure that you have the Vimeo software fully installed on your first computer okay so after you've installed the Vimeo software on your first computer we are moving into the second computer to do the rest of the work over there all right but before i go all right after you've installed the Vimeo software okay make sure that you connect the two computers to the same network so that you can follow along with these tutorials okay so when i move to my second computer okay this is where i'm going to do the rest of the work okay so make sure that on your second computer you have at least a canva opened okay make sure that you have access to canva it's free software that you can register and then you can link up to okay make sure they have canva opened and then make sure that you visit the vmix official website and then click on downloads over here so when you click on downloads over here this page is going to open for you so make sure that you scroll down until you see this thing over here desktop capture for windows okay download this little application over here so when you download it you are going to get a file like this when you extract it okay when you download it extract it it's going to come up a zip file extract it and then you are going to get a folder like this a file like this make sure that you group them into a folder as i've done so that it will all be at one place so after you have done that then we move on okay you, now you have your canva application you have your vmix desktop capture you've connected your two computers to the same network okay so what we want to do here is that make sure that you run the vmix application the ndi desktop capture okay so let me close this one and run it for you guys to see so open it like this open it like this then click on this one here the vmix desktop capture 
click on it for it to open okay so when you run it this side is going to come okay you are not going to install when you when you click on the setup it's going to open like this okay so let's do a little bit setup here okay so you click on the settings over here and then you can show the kaiser when you connected to uh, the vmix if you want to show the mouse on it just uncheck it if you don't want to show then you can leave the rest of the settings as it is okay so right now we have our settings done on this secondary computer okay so we have everything done so let's go back into our canva application okay so on our canva application we are done designing our work okay we are done designing our presentation we want to present something to our vmix software so we are done designing our presentation okay so right now if you want to get this into the uh, what do you call it the vmix software just click on share click on more over here and then click on present okay so when you click on present and then click on full presentation and then click on here like this okay so this is what you are going to get okay so guys so i forget to explain what the vmix desktop capture does okay what the vmix desktop capture does is that it allows you to send the interface of one computer it, it, it will allow you to send the interface of a computer into the vme software okay so any interface you open on your computer you're going to get it into the vme software so that's the job it does okay so let me come back to my primary computer where i have the vme software installed over here and then let me go to add input over here so i click on add input and go to vmix desktop you can see that there are a lot of interfaces over here all right so the one i am interested in to go to display one all right click on the display one and then click there like this okay so when you see that when i click on this the display one half easily or automatically get the output of my secondary pc into my vmix application because the the the, the, the vmix desktop capture allow you to get this the, the interface of a, 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 a computer okay the interface of the computer to the vmix software so i'm able to capture the output of the uh, vmix the, the canva application to the vmix software so when i change the presentation over here you can see that it's changing nicely okay when i change the presentation over here, you can see that everything is changing nicely okay so the same thing applies so when if you want to show images the same thing applies to if you want to play video anything you want to show from the canva application you can easily do it as i've done you are going to get it it's not anything difficult okay just remember that you have to connect the two computers to the same network make sure that you have the vme software installed make sure that you have the vme desktop capture application installed or download on your secondary computer and then when you launch it automatically it connect the two computers together and then you can share the interfaces across the network okay so you can also have a third computer or a fourth computer for the same thing okay you just install the applications on it and then you can use it as i've shown over here all right so guys i believe this tutorial has been of great help to you and thank you for watching and i'll catch you in another tutorial bye bye